everyone it's smiling yeah okay so we're back for another mock test all these routes are the official routes we're already set up you know the drill if anyone's just joined us for the first time don't forget to like follow subscribe all that good stuff we're gonna have the results at the end so if you're here for the results they'll be at the end are you ready to start yes okay so we're gonna start this mock test like a real test with a tell me question nothing uh -huh. too tough just a tell me question uh would you be able to tell us how would you test to see if your foot brake was working uh, okay when you turn off the uh the power button yeah and you press down the the foot brakes the foot brake they must they mustn't feel um spongy or slug very good answer thank yeah. you okay so we're ready to drive the sat nav set up i'm not too sure if it would give you direction straight away but just try to follow the sat nav's direction so take your time when you're ready and it's safe drive on and it looks like at the end of the road we'll be turning right okay right, right. at the end of the road yeah if my orientation is correct uh, okay. it looks like we'll be turning right yeah okay so take time drive on when you're ready good luck and along the way, we'll be pointing out just nice little tips about driving. So if you're here for the whole drive, we'll just point out all these nice little driving tips along the way. And like I said, the results will be at the end. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> good start nice and patient okay i was wrong uh -huh. i was wrong often wrong um it will be at the end of the road turning left, left. Yeah. Okay. thank god for sat navs turn left marsh road So very good mirror check there for your change of direction around the power vehicle, it's nice. Looking out for those motorbikes. Yeah. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Rain is lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit.
It really feels like you're looking ahead, trying to plan early. It's nice. It's the last skill we develop when we're learning to drive. Yeah. Sat knows here to help us with that as well, so it counts down. Okay. Um, yeah. to the After 200 yards, turn right, Highfield Avenue. So it's not the first road, which is just here. It's the no. next one coming up on the right here. Yeah. You might just about see it just there on the right hand side. Turn right. A very nice positioning here. Well done. Excellent repositioning, giving space to the oncoming traffic. Good speed as well. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you've missed this. Very nice judgment. Good turn. Well done. I'd like us to find a convenient place to pull up on the left. So you played this game before then nice convenient place yeah. well done okay um if you've got the cheat code you might want to use it just to check your distance from the left it's not that bad okay, yeah, okay. see the yellow line yeah but then, yeah it has to be over mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah. all right thank you very much um now we're going to continue the independent drive following the sat nav a lot of people do miss this turn here yeah. so the is going to give us two separate directions at once and people tend to not see the second one so at the end of the road we'll be turning right and then immediately turning left okay yeah all right any questions uh, yeah i'll try famous last words when you're ready and it's safe drive on yeah thank you After 70 yards, turn right, Whittington Way, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Oops. Turn left, St. Michael's Crescent. Would you find a convenient place to pull up on the left? Okay. You know, we can stop anywhere where there's raised curb. So yeah. see where the grass is, that raised curb? Yeah. Those are convenient places. Lovely. Better judgment with your distance as well. Remember how to activate the cheat code? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that, yeah. the yellow lines perfectly mm -hmm. on the edge of the pavement. Yeah. Very nice. If you'd like to activate it as you're pulling in, you can do. You can do. And press it one more time and you'll get the split screen. Look oh, at that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the perfect. I want to help you with something else. Yeah. I'm not too sure if it's possible, but with the car secured as we are, yeah. would you release the steering and see if you can push it away a bit further towards the console? Like so, yeah, just release it with the latch. Probably, and push it away from you. Yeah. And then you can still see the speed sign. Yeah. All right, let's lock the steering. Lovely. And then with the cruise control button, the one that looks like a clock. Yeah. Press that. And it's just going to make that speed yeah, a little go. larger as well. Yeah. Now, I've noticed some oversteer with the last two turns. Oversteer yeah. means that we're turning too much over, over and yeah. then getting close to the pavement and having to... You kind of spin the steering wheel the opposite way to get the car straight again yeah. and i think that was the reason because oh, okay. the steering's too close to us yeah. and our elbows are really bent yeah. it makes it's the steering very sharp nice. and yeah limited yeah. with the steering further away we've got more room more, room to, more, more room elbow room, room. Work. yeah yeah when you're ready and it's safe drive on and continue to follow the sound now please oh, yeah. Lovely blind spot checks, good signal. After 100 there? yards, turn left, Cannon Lane. Turn left. Excellent observations. Oh yeah, that steering looks way more comfortable. Yeah, I can see it myself as well. safe would you show us how we would open and close one of your side windows After 200 yards, bear right, Eastern Avenue. Right? Yes, please. Just like the vehicle in front of the L plate. driving test. I'm always nosy, yeah, I'm trying to see if they're on a real test. Can't tell at the moment. <clears throat> Very good use of speed. One of my students said this um, when you don't know, go slow. Go slow, yeah. Nice mirrors again, and excellent speed. Good distance from the park vehicle. Fantastic, well done. Um, when it's safe, I'd like you to show us how we'd open and close one of the side windows. Oh, 
story that's not mine. Mm -hmm. I want to familiarize. I, I need to stop somewhere. Come on, so just that pull I up can... on the single yellow line, just anywhere here on the left. Yeah. Don't worry about the driveways on this okay. occasion. So that I familiarize with. Mm -hmm. To secure the vehicle, so it's put the car into park. Maybe even just apply the handbrake for extra security. You got it? Brilliant. All right, so yeah. Have a look at the switches that you have on your door handle, or just below your door handle, I should say. There's four. They're actually positioned into the same position of the windows. Okay, this one here. Correct, this one here, yeah. This one here. So one get a good feel for where the switches or buttons or whatever you want to call them are. Okay. And then try to use those switches or buttons. And then try to use them without looking. Okay. Mm. Mine, the back one. That is the back one. My side is the back. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you're ready to drive on, we'll drive on. And then whenever it's safe, I'd like you to show us how you'd open and close one of your side windows, please. Okay, so we'll be doing a junction on this mock test route that we haven't done together before. It's a little junction I like to call Sally's Corner. Sally's Corner. I you think we've done are. Sally's Corner. Oh, we have corner. done Sally's Corner. Long back. All right, well then yes. we'll have a revisit. Yeah, it was, oh my goodness. What do you remember about Sally's Corner? What was the challenge? Yeah, it was somewhere like, so I know. It's just here, it's that one coming up there, Oak okay. Grove. So it's still quite far down, 470 yards. Uh, it's a very sharp la left turn. We'll see it when we get there. After 200 yards, turn left, Oak Grove. Turn left. Nice. 
nice, good steering. Okay, for the pavement. Okay, for the pavement again. Can you see you're about to drive on top of the pavement? Yeah. At the end of the road, turn right, Southbourne Gardens. Turn right. Very nice moving out early, really just dominating the centre of the road. Um, sometimes we can use this white line as a reference point as well. After 200 yards, you go right on the roundabout the and wheel. take the third exit, Victoria Road. Really good position, so you've got safe distance on both sides. Sorry to talk over the sat nav, it's the third exit turning third right. Third exit. Ah, oh, okay. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. He put a right before the new. Yeah, so right yeah. now. It's got about 10 minutes to go, we're almost finished. We'll finish After off with 300 our yards, turn left, Pembroke Road, then turn right. So we're still just going to be following the road straight ahead for a little bit. Uh, any preference or any... Bay parking. Bay parking? Okay, yeah. cool, cool.
left or right? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Turn left, Pembroke Road, then turn right. It's a nice stopping position as well. That's when the line disappears out the front yeah. of the car. We can't see it, so we stop at that point. Uh, well done for not obviously going into the bicycle box. Last day, you remember? Oh, we went into a bicycle yes. box? Okay. Then you told me that if it is a driving test, you have failed. That would be correct. Lovely, nice if you're sat now. Turn Good right, work. west way, then turn right. Good positioning, well done. You'd be surprised how many people try to drive into the traffic here. Yeah. Excellent. I'm just going to throw you a little clue, which the examiners might mention. Yeah. It's a one-way road. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Oh, they will mention it, yeah? They usually do, yeah. yeah. So just to let you know, you're on a one-way road. Oh, okay. Turn right, man away, then turn left. Give me smile. Yeah, I my <laughs> name. Left, Windmill Hill. Good awareness, well done with your observations. Because yeah. we might end up bumping into each other. Lovely. With that one. Nice making eye contact with the driver as well so that you both know and yeah. understand each other, see each other. It's very helpful. This was a roundabout. Uh, After 300 it. yards, it does, it? go right yeah. on the roundabout Remember and take the third exit before 66 East Coke Road. Oh, yes, just following the Should road. You see the road markings? Yeah. We're just following the road. Oh, yeah. You'll see the road markings are different for the roundabout. Okay. Yeah. Right on the roundabout and take the third exit, B466 East Coke Road. for maintaining the safe distance from the pavement. I know how scary that is when we have that large vehicle coming towards us. But you didn't lose focus of where you are in the road, yeah? That's yeah. the important part of that, so good job. Even though we had the scary lorry, you still stayed in a safe position. Top tip for the big vehicles, 
try not to look at them. At them, they yeah. scare you. Yes, so that's what our instincts are going to do. They're going to force us to look at the vehicle. Um, however, we want to fight those instincts and just look where we want to go. Yeah. Keep our focus on the direction we're going in. So, top ten. That now doesn't do the best at giving direction for the double roundabouts. Let's see how it goes. If you're unsure, after then 200 yards, pass. cross the roundabout and take the first exit B466 High Road East Coat. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Excellent mirror, that's a good signal. Well timed. Lovely approaching speed. Good early vision, early decision. Lovely. Now I'm not too sure if it would give you the direction here, so I'm just gonna say turning right at the roundabout, turning right oh, at the okay. second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B466, High Road East Coat. Lovely, thank you. Um, what I'd like to do now is say that's the end of the independent drive and just follow the road ahead. I'll give you the directions for the remainder of the test. We'll finish up with the manoeuvre. Reverse or forward to Bay Park? Any park. Hmm, yes, would you like the reverse? Or uh, forward to Bay Park? Reverse. Okay. Did we go in a Tesco's car park? I think we did, but um, just jump, double Which check. One? Tesco's? Tesco's? Not been in that one yet? Okay. Um, it's close to the test centre. Yeah. I think we did, we can go there. So we're just going to follow this road then, it'll take us all the way to Tesco's. We'll have one more set of double roundabouts, that'll be fun. Or twin roundabouts as I like to call them. Yeah. The last twin roundabouts you just did, very nice. The most common mistake with the twin roundabouts yeah. is the students fail to see the second roundabout. The second one, yes. Because, you know, they have concentrated on the third. So to see the second one, too late. Yes, too late, yeah. yeah. So this is the road with the big chunky speed bumps and yeah. that's the road next to the test centre. So what we're going to do is just follow this road and that takes us to the twin roundabouts and then just off of the second roundabout we have Tesco's car park. The sign will say Superstore. Yeah. Um, would you like to try and follow the sign or would you like if I gave the directions? Either or doesn't matter to me. If you give me uh, direction. directions, cool. Mm -hmm. No problem. Another tip for Pinna. Yeah. Any road that has speed bumps will be 20. Okay. Yeah. That's just for this test centre though. Only for? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of roads that can have speed bumps but are 30. Yeah. It's, it's uncommon 
but they're, they're around. Yeah. So how would we know if the speed limit was 20? Like, what would tell us? Yeah, you check on the... What do you call? Look, the signs, like the, the signs. poles, yep. yeah. That's brilliant, yeah. We can even cheat. So if you have a look at the road signs on the side roads, yeah. they actually show us the speed change. So it shows us what this road speed limit is and then what the side road speed limit is. So that can be a nice tip as well. Ah, okay. uh, if you don't have signs on your road, you can yeah. look at the side roads and they might help. So what can you judge from the side uh, so you see like this sign yeah. here, they'll be on the side road. So then oh, it will show you that the 20 zone ends and then if you turn into the side road, 30 begins. Oh, okay. So then we know that this road's 20 and the side road's 30. Yeah. Okay, at the first roundabout turn right, at the second roundabout turn right. So first roundabout turn right, second roundabout turning right. Just going to follow the road straight. So we're going to go all the way straight to the wooden fence in the distance. Please. Just following the road, yeah? Yeah. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, I had to stop you there. We're going very, very wide and we're going over the centre line into an oncoming vehicle. You got full control? Yeah. Okay, just make sure we don't crash. <laughs> Would you turn right for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. I'm just try to keep us to our side. Can you see how we're driving into the oncoming yeah. side? Yeah. So in, even though we're in a car park, still want to keep to the left. Yeah, but there's uh, someone walking. Yeah, that's there. fine. Then we can yeah. stop if we need to. It's yeah. just when we turn in, it's a bit difficult to see, so we try to turn into yeah. the left. But what we're going to do is go all the way down to the end, to the George Bush, straight ahead, yeah. all the way to the far side. Thank you. And then we'll just stop uh, facing the tree or this bush. And then what I'd like us to do next is we're going to finish off now with the manoeuvre. So we yeah. might come back to the test centre at the end, like your test centre at Pinar. Yeah. They have their own car park they ask oh, us to do. Got? Yep, so they might what ask about? you to do at the end. Just outside the actual test centre itself, there's a little car park, just that area there. And they can do the bay parking if they have their own mm -hmm. car park. Either at the beginning, or at the end of the test. Mm. All right, so we're yeah. gonna do it at the end. Take your time when you're ready and it's safe. I'd like us to reverse into any bay your choice and just finish between the lines. Thank you.
Okay, so when the engine switched off, we know that's the end of the test. Usually the examiner will say switch the engine off, but you are accustomed to this, you know the drill, yeah? Yeah. So I'm just assuming, let me ask though. Yeah. You're happy you finished? Yes. Yep, I'm cool. More than happy. I'm happy as well. Okay. Yeah. So the next step is, as we all know, it's a tradition around <laughs> here. <laughs> Head is down. Um to ask you at the end of the test. How do you feel it went? Super duper. <laughs> Super duper. Sounds like an Abba song. Yeah. Um, pass or fail? Oh, chat are in there with their results. As we all know, they are the main judge during examiner. Their verdict is final. So what would you say, though? Pass or fail? Judging by the super duper, I'm saying, saying pass, pass, right? Okay, cool. We've got chat saying... 62%, percent point five. fail. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with chat. <laughs> so, uh, is there any reason why you yeah, think I'm saying, there. there you go, yeah. that was it. Just, down there. Just that bit yeah. right there at the end of yeah. the test. Yeah. Um, what I'd say for that, though, yeah. is following the lines. Now, normally when we go left on a corner, yeah. there's these yellow lines. Yeah. Trying to follow those. Now, we don't have the yellow lines there, right? Okay. But we've got a little bit of pavement. We could stop. If you don't feel that you've got enough room, you could always just stop. Yeah. Let that other car go round. Around. yeah. And then turn in after. That's yeah. fine, because usually there's not a lot of room in car parks, so we kind of need to do that. Uh, if we go wide, like what was happening, yeah. is there any danger involved? Oh, yeah. yeah. You smack on the oncoming car. Was there any reason why you didn't put the brake on? I don't know. I thought that I... I don't know. So, yeah. just for the part where I was saying, be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> that was the point where I was hoping yeah. you would actually have put the brake on. Unfortunately, yeah. I had to put the brake on. So, um, for that reason, I apologise. You know, I don't want you yeah. to fail. Um, but I have to mark that down as a serious fault because I had to use the brake. Yeah. Okay? All right. I hope we're still friends. <laughs> <laughs> Um, moving on, there's a few minor faults. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, there's two in two separate categories that we've got two marks on. Mm. So they're the ones I usually focus on. If there's a recurring um, driver fault, so it might be someone doesn't check the mirrors, and that happens, you know, two, three, four times, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we focus on those. Right, so the steering. Do you remember we said about the oversteering? Yeah, somewhere. We adjusted the steering wheel, didn't we? Yeah. That seemed to have solved that solution, um, or that was the solution. And we had two minor faults before we adjusted the steering wheel for that, because we had that left, uh, sorry, right turn, left turn, and we had that oversteer, oversteer, didn't yeah. we? And then we adjusted the steering wheel, and that oversteer went away. We had the clearance come up two times as well. So we had Sally's Corner, and just after Sally's Corner, we go up and down this bridge. Mm. Nice job on Sally's Corner, nice turn. That's what we wanted to kind of do on that corner just now as we came into the car park. Similar. Oh, yeah. Same kind of yeah. angle and width. Very narrow and very tight. Okay, so with the Sally's Corner bit, we went up over the hill. And then we had some oncoming traffic. And that's quite scary because it's a very narrow road. Yeah. And we've got these big vehicles like a van or a small lorry or something, you know, like that, um, coming towards us. So we're instinctively going to go to the pavement. Yeah. We got a little bit close to the pavement on the bridge. And then at the end of the bridge, when we came down, we stopped for some oncoming traffic, but we were going to stop on the pavement. Mm. So at that point, again, we got a little bit too close to the pavement. So do take care on narrow roads, like the car park here or Sally's Corner. If there is oncoming traffic, what can we do um, to exercise safe driving? 
Um, a, go fast, or B, go slower. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, the speed was pretty good. Just try and check that left side a bit more, I'd say. Yeah, to keep mm. that distance. And if we can't, just stop. Yeah, let yeah. the other cars go past. All right, um, so we've got one for signal. The last roundabout, we were turning right. The signal went off. We also stopped at that last roundabout. We didn't need to. There was no traffic on the right, so we could go. So we stopped with no signal on. If there was a car behind us, that car wouldn't know we were turning right and would probably misread why or misunderstand why we stopped. Yeah, I know we're on a driving test. There's a lot going on, two roundabouts at one. Our processing is going to be a bit overloaded at that point. Um, but we need to inform the other road users so uh, that go against us on the driving test. Got to have that signal on. And then if it's safe, got to keep moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I think we've got two more um, time signal. So one of the signals went off. So you did put it on uh, for a left turn and it switched itself off. Just try to put the left signal back on again. And then the last one was an appropriate speed. So we had a long straight 30 mile an hour road. We were doing 20. I'm not too sure if you can remember that there's a vehicle that overtook us, a silver car or gray car on the right, mm -hmm. just, whoom, yeah. just went round us. It's because we're doing 20 on a 30 road. It's quite a long straight. We get 25, that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, 20 is probably a little bit too slow at yeah. that point. All right, yeah. any questions? No. No? Mm. The smile's slowly coming back. <laughs> we'll go get a box of chocolates or something to cheer you up. Yes. And then we're ready to rock and roll for our second block test today. Yeah. And we're going to come back nice and strong. Yes. Get that pass. Definitely. Cool beans. Yeah. All right. So I think that just leaves me to say a massive thank you to you as always for sharing. This will really help a lot of people to learn to drive. And um, any anything that you'd like to sign off with before we say goodbye? No, that's okay. No. Thank you, Chad, for support. Yes, yeah, support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting knives in your back yes, today. but it's a support. It will make me like, Joking. yes, to improve more. Yes, good. Yeah. So, I always say with any thoughts, because all I yeah. had was this when I was learning to drive. I didn't have all this videos and stuff, yeah. right? Okay. Um, if I made a mistake, I try to remember it and work on that. Yes. Full stop. And yeah. then that's the best way I could look at the situation that kind of tried me from not getting too negative, okay, which was very easy for mm -hmm. me to do, especially when I was younger. Right. Anyways, thanks again for sharing. Uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Until next time, stay safe. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.